today I'm going to be breaking down the full process of linking your Instagram account to your actual supporter creator account and how to set this up to get yourself a supporter creator code if you have over a thousand followers on Instagram. Let's jump right into it. So basically, you're going to want to come over to how to become an epic creator. Just go to the supported creator page, hit apply now, and then go down to your Instagram channel URL. Now, to get this URL, just come to your Instagram page on a desktop or just a web browser, and then just hit your profile. And mine is Instagram.com slash SF.GummyYoshi. And then from here, you're just going to want to copy and paste that in. Now, once you hit connect, it is actually going to pop up a little bit of a login with Facebook page. Now, for those of you that don't know Instagram is owned by Facebook so this is why you need to log into Facebook don't think that you're trying to link your Facebook account it's just because Instagram is actually owned by Facebook so I've already actually created a Facebook account I don't use this at all but I made my first name gummy and my last name Oshi you're just going to want to log into your Facebook account on this first step now this is a completely new account I have not even touched this account so then hit continue as gummy Oshi now here is where the process gets a little bit different difficult and this did take me a ton of research to figure out and that is why I'm making this video on it to help you guys out so once you have your Instagram all linked in and you're on to this second step after you've logged in your Facebook account you need a Instagram business account to use with your support a creator now this is where it gets very difficult I'm not going to lie and basically you need to convert your Instagram account into a business account don't worry it won't hurt your Instagram account at all all, it will actually just improve it but what we need to do first before we do that is actually make a Facebook page for this business account on Instagram so you're going to want to log into your Facebook account that you've made and come over to facebook.com now from there you're going to want to hit this plus button in the top right corner create and then you're going to want to hit page now this will actually bring you to the creating a page template and it will give you these three fields to fill out your page name your category category and your description. Now, I actually already have these all filled out. So right here, you can see that it's a support creator Instagram linking. Th this can be literally whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be relevant to your Instagram account. So once you have all of these filled out, you just need to hit create page and then it will actually create the page for you. It does take a few seconds to load. Just do know that and see, there we go. Now we have gotten more options to add to our page. So from here, we can add a background image to this page or we can add a cover photo in order to make it look a little bit more personalized. But just for the sake of this video, we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit save. And then from there, we have our Facebook page. Now this is our supporter creator Instagram linking page. Okay, so now you actually have your Facebook page all set up, and here's where we need to go into our Instagram app. Now we're going to be switching over to the phone view, which is a little bit scuffed just because, you know, I have screen recording on right now. And basically what you're going to want to do is come over to the actual Instagram page on your phone, and then from there, you're going to want to hit on your account button in the top right corner of the screen. Go to settings. Now, once you're in settings, you're going to want to scroll down to switch to professional account. Now, if you haven't already done this, basically all you need to do is hit continue a few times and then basically just hit it one more time. And then you need to select a category that you're actually going to be in. So we're just going to type in gaming video creator because, you know, that's what Facebook calls us. And then you can decide to display it on your profile or not. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm not really going through with all of this but then you're going to want to hit done and then from there you get to choose if you are a creator or a business you're going to need to select business because like it said back on the supporter creator page you need an instagram business account so we're going to select business and then hit next now your contact info, obviously I'm going to be blurring this out, but basically what you need here is all you need in that section is actually your email. You don't need an address or a phone number. And then from there, you need to link it to Facebook. And now this is why we made our page. So basically what you need to do is log into Facebook. So now that I have logged into Facebook, we can hit continue as gummy, and then we will actually go back to Instagram. And from here, you can set up your account center. Yes, we're going really really deep into this rabbit hole. I'm sorry, guys, but this is the entire process all broken down. So now that I'm logged into Facebook, I actually need to do my account center. So we're going to hit continue here, and then we're going to hit finish setting up, which is actually fairly simple. You just hit the giant blue button. And then from here, this is where
where it's tying all together, guys. You choose the page that you just made, and then you're able to easily do this. So basically what you do, you have this page selected, see it's in a blue dot, and then we hit next, and it will actually pick this page as our one for Instagram. And as you can see here, we've got welcome sf.gummyoshi. From there, you get a bunch of different tools, but now your account is actually a business account. So if we X out here, then you can see that we actually have one of four steps to complete. You don't actually have to do these steps, but these are just like extra things that Instagram wants you to do. So now if we come back over to our supporter creator page and we close this all out and we hit the X button and then we go all the way back over and we copy and paste our link back in and we hit continue as gummy Yoshi, you can see that when we do this again, we have our Instagram business account now. And here we can select it and then we have that. And then from there, we can use the page that we created to actually go to the next step. So now we choose this page to use with our supporter creator. Then we hit next again. And then you need to keep all of these checked. I do believe if you check them off, it can limit what your supporter creator code does. Just keep all of these on and it will allow you to actually go to your final step of linking your epic games to support a creator to facebook and holy crap our process is finally done so now that we hit okay this this won't actually work with me because i don't have a thousand followers but once you have a thousand followers on instagram this will go through and you will be able to link your instagram account to your support a creator account so this was a really drawn out video and i'm sorry for that but it needed to be long because i needed to explain to you guys every single step of this process so thank you guys for sticking around with me and thank you for sticking around to the end of the video I hope that you found this helpful if you did consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton I saw a ton of people with this issue So I just wanted to help you guys out if you guys enjoyed the video again consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel Thank you so much for watching the video I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one